Hey y'all, welcome back to Daydream Manor Flower Farm. I'm Dawn, I live in South Louisiana, and I want to share with you something I'm going to attempt to grow for next year. Alright, we are in the kitchen um, because it's a little overcast outside. Actually, it feels kind of good outside. So, um, but I don't want to be out there and it start to rain and then I have to move everything. Y'all know. Anyway, it's been kind of a busy week. Um, I am like trying to wrap my head around this work trip I'm about to leave on um, in seven days. And I also am going to, so I have a work thing that's going to be like a 10 day work day thing. And then I'm extending my time um, to travel and take my, take a holiday, um, take vacation. And y'all, it's a lot of logistics right now happening. So um, if you saw, I think I talked about it in my last video, um, I am going over to the Netherlands for a um to work with my team over there and then my best friend is going to meet me in paris and we are going to travel around um for about two weeks we're going to extend i'm going to take my va some vacation time and i'm going to go enjoy myself and so you know <clears throat> when we first planned it i don't know i it really didn't settle in i mean i am going to be gone for four weeks y'all that's a month and I, I'm not worried too much about the farm because it's in a good place. Mr. Daydream's going to water for me. It's him I'm going to miss, y'all. And look, I love being in my home. And I, I, I don't know, I don't even know if I've ever talked about this part of it. But we built this home five years ago. And I, this is the second home we've built. But this house just feels so special. Like when I walk in, I get that sense of being at home. And I've worked really hard over the last five years to make it feel that way. So I love being at home. I love being in my flower field. So we'll see. Four weeks is a long time to be gone, but I'm really excited over it. We're going to hit up um, my, my, my dear friend who I work, who I'm blessed is on we work together she's my colleague um on this trip she's going to extend her time so we're all th we're gonna her and i are gonna head to paris and then my best friend is flying over to meet us in paris so we'll finish up paris together we'll head to amsterdam for a couple of days um my my colleague friend i don't i hate to call her that because she's so much more than a colleague i love her so much um but she is flying back home and then my best friend and I are going to hit Amsterdam, um, a couple of places in Germany. We're going to go by, we're going to go to Oktoberfest and then we're going to head to Prague and then we're going to fly home. So it is something my best friend and I have always traveled together for the last, I don't know, 20, 30 years. And we travel well together. Um, we always laugh that, um, not both of us don't have the same breakdowns at the same time. So um, she and I did a big trip right before COVID in 2019, in fact, um, to Vietnam. Um, and we spent a couple of weeks in Vietnam and we had a great time there. But um, and, and we do some other trips in state in, in the United States. But um, we try really hard to have a big trip we do every year every other year and so it's been several years since we've done this and we it just happened to work out um or she'll we she will be in california for a wedding so she's going to fly out of california to paris and and i'm already going to be over there so um we're gonna we're gonna go have some fun but that's why i'm not gonna have videos um this will probably be the last video until sometime in october unless i film while i'm um over um uh, while I'm in Europe. So, all that to tell y'all. Y'all, like, all know my personal business, but I'm excited for that. Um, this is a good time for me to go. Again, this is exactly what I'm talking about, what I talked about in the last video, about this flower form being in that third bucket for me. Um, it is for me to be able to supplement to do the things that I want to do, whether it's travel for me and Mr. Daydream, or we want to do home projects. I am not... The farm for me is, is a passion project. It is a source of income, but it is not going to dictate how I live my life. Like I have worked 40 years um, in, in the public for someone else and have always been, that's always been the driver, right? Like that kind of dictates when I can take vacation, when I can do this. That's not what this form is about for me. And so I want to be clear with that because I did get a, um, 
a DM um, about, you know, well, about it being, you know, well, not everybody can just use it as supplemental income. And, and I thought I was really clear in my video that I find that people fall into several different buckets. And so my situation is not your situation. Your situation is not my situation. My goal is for this form to fit my lifestyle. So if that means I may decide to never, ever do fall subscriptions, I need to be okay with that. That's what I need to, that's what I need to do. I need to be okay with that. So it's just interesting how people interpret things when you think you're really clear. Anyway, um, I, I'm excited. It's a good time for me to leave. Um, now, would I take a vacation in April, May? No, probably not, unless it was, unless I had to go for work. But if I am, if, if I am controlling that, no, because that's when, of course, that's when I make the bulk of my money is April, May, June. So I'm just, you know, I want this form to work in my schedule. And I know that sounds ridiculous when you're talking about growing flowers seasonally, but there's a way to do that. So I'm okay. I'm off my soapbox. I guess that message bothered me a little bit more than it should have because I was like, were you not listening? That is not what I said. Rewind. Anyway, um, so what I really wanted to show y'all was this box. So I am going to attempt to, to um, grow curcuma. I think that's how you say it. C-U-R-C-U-M-A. Um, it is a tropical loving plant, which, and all this humidity, it's like the tropics, except not as pretty. Um, so they're supposed to go really grow really well in this climate. Um, they are a member, a member, words are getting hard again, of the turmeric family. I think they also call them um, Siam, Siam, Siam tulips, maybe. Um, I haven't done a whole lot of research. I mean, I did enough to know I want to grow them. So I found um, there's, I found um, a grower. I did not know about this lady, and I will tell you, she has little farmhouse, uh, little farmhouse flowers, and she also owns. She opened. She started um, Ampersand Bulb Company. Y'all, first of all, she was awesome. Uh, let me let me tell you so i went on her website um i had to figure out how to like to order like you have to apply for your you know to be to get your to, to order which that was easy i had a little trouble navigating how to figure out how to put things in the cart then go look at the orders once i got it i got it it just took me a few minutes um but i emailed her because i was like how do I, if I order them now, because she has them available now, um, if I order them now, how do, what do I do with them for over the winter? Y'all, she was so kind. She sent back an email with a link um, about how to care for them, how to grow them. She had, she put a little, some words, she, some words, Lord. She put um, a little note in, in, on the email about what she does. So I, I will tell you, customer service for me is big. I will not go back somewhere or and I will not use someone who does not have good customer service. That is just me. And look, this, she answered me almost immediately. Not that I expected that because look, I don't answer my emails immediately. I, I will answer them. I try to answer them within 24 to 48 hours, 48 hours max. Uh, but, and I really like to get them in 24 hours, but she almost responded almost immediately. So and I emailed her on the weekend. So I love that. Um, I ordered four different colors. Um, and y'all, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna pray. So these are the corms. I am not gonna open these, but I ordered white. And what I may do is I'll I'll put some pictures um, down here. So this one is the white. I'll insert a picture so you can see what that looks like. I did the white. I did a pink, I did a green burgundy, and a pink white. Now, she did tell me to store these over the winter to put them, she just puts them in a uh, bin with, um, 
peat moss. Why? What is happening with peat moss? So I am going. I'm gonna. I'm gonna do that. Um, but you know what? Let's let's just open one to see what it looks like. Let's open the. This bag feels a little bit smaller. Let's see what we got here. So I love they're packaged in just this brown. Uh, and stapled brown bag and stapled Ugh. okay so let's see what we got here have you grown these let me know oh ah okay i don't know what i expected but that's them so it's 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 a corn huh this is the pink can you see that Okay, that's the pink, and then that's the pink ones. This bag just feels heavier, so I'm just gonna look. There might I see if there's a size difference. I have no idea. So it looks like I'm just gonna store them like I would ranunculus corms. So, um, kind of pumped. Like I'm gonna put them in a bin and put them in my closet. Oh, okay. Oh. This is the white one, so that's different. I guess it's a different variety. Y'all, I honestly don't know. Let, let me not act like I'm an expert here, because I don't know. Um, all right, so I'm going to do a little bit more research. How's that for a very informative YouTube <laughs> video? Hmm. Maybe I should have done that before I got on here. Anyway, I just got excited. When I saw that they came in, I was like, oh, I've got to go grab these. So anyway, I am going to do these. So one of the things that she said she had done them in her tunnel um, and in one gallon pots. So I think that's what I'm going to do. This is 200. No, I'm lying. 100. 100 of them. Um, now, I, evidently they do reproduce and so you can pull them apart after the season. Um, so I've got to find, I, I, don't, I think I have some one gallon nursery pots. I think that was the suggested size was the one gallon. So I am going to do those and I am going to put them into the tunnel. Um, and we're going to see what happens. I actually saw these on Instagram. Uh, Moonshot form. I think she's up in New Jersey, maybe somewhere, somewhere up there. She had them on a story, and then I, <laughs> I kind of stalked her face, uh, her Instagram post, and I saw them again, and I was like, okay, this is super interesting. So I'm, I'm hoping because they are, they do like heat and humidity that they'll will thrive here. I mean, she's growing them in up in New Jersey, so fingers crossed. But anyway, I'm kind of excited about them. I, I love to, to experiment with one new um, flower every year or two. And then I give them usually a two-year period. So it's like, except for my tulips, y'all, it's just whatever. I'm, I mean, now that I figured out how to grow them in the tunnel, I'm going to do them again for next year. And then we'll make the final decision. But it was the same thing with ranunculus and anemones and poppies. And poppies I don't grow anymore. Um, they are, there are some different ones that I will test, um, for a couple of years uh, or try for a year and make a decision. So this is new. Um, I'm really, I'm really excited over this. And the other new one that I'm going to add, and I've got to go get, um, she's digging them up is my flower friend, Roberta is, um, she grows tuberos and y'all spectacular I'm in love so she had some extras that she was uh digging up and I want to grab some from her and put it in my perennial bed so those if I can get the tuberose those will be the two new um the two new flowers that we're going to test and we'll see what happens anyway all right I have got to figure out um when when I'm going to have these flowers come in um for the fall I'm going to do I'm going to hopefully okay wait let me back up so the ones that are in the tunnel right now besides the mums the ones that i'm kind of i was experimenting with um that still warm flowers like celosia and xenia and that they should be blooming or big they should be close to blooming by the time i get back so hopefully or a little bit later maybe end of october so i definitely want to put some out i'm going to do a test for the roadside stand i want to do some bouquets regularly um, as regular as I can in the boutique, but I'm not going to have enough for subscriptions. And I, I've already said that I've made the call to ixnay those for the, um, 
for the for the fall but I am kind of getting excited um, get this trip out of the way and then come back and really start concentrating on flipping beds for to plant out fall stuff get those ready <sighs> y'all it'll be here before we know it and I know some of you are already getting that way because your first frost is coming closer I mean we don't get ours till late November but it'll be here before you know it <sighs> all right well, I need to go figure out packing. I was going to try to do a carry-on for the four weeks. That's not going to happen. Because what I realized, <coughs> I have to have a different set of clothes um, for work. Um, because we are facilitating an event, um, a week-long uh, workshop. And so, I can't just wear like my joggers and a t-shirt like I would to, to go sightseeing and that. So I got to go figure that out, um, which kind of sucks, but I'll figure it out. Um, I just didn't want to have to carry a heavy suitcase, but I feel like if I could even get my big suitcase under 30 pounds, I would be fine with that. So definitely not packing a 50 pound suitcase. Mm -mm. I have to tell you all about that. When we went to Vietnam, um, so there's not a whole lot of buildings that have um, elevators or, or uh, lifts. And so it was a lot of stairs. Um, there's not a lot of ramps for ADA compliant. There's that just isn't a thing. And I think it was week, well into the second week, maybe the start of the third week, we had um, we were staying at um, this apartment kind of complex. And I, I don't even know. I think we were on the th yeah we were on the third floor. I just couldn't do it anymore. I took my suitcase and I kicked it down the stairs. I just put it on the edge and went boop with my foot and I just let it roll. I mean, thankfully I've got a good suitcase. But I was just so tired of dragging it up and down and it was such like, I, it just tumbled. It just tumbled. It was, I was thankful nothing broke, but I was so just done. Um, and it was heavy. Like my suitcase was so, I overpacked by so much for that trip. And I swore never again. So the only reason I can't get everything into a carry-on right now is I have to bring a few other things for the work piece of it. Um, but it's fine. It's fine. Anyway, all right. Now that we've talked about all the things, um, I hope you all have a wonderful week. I may try to film a little bit and do like some little short videos while we're over there um, just to share my trip because, oh, I am going when we're in Amsterdam Friday morning that we're there is the morning of the flower auction that's held in Alsmere and it's about a 40 minute bus ride from our hotel so we are going to jump on the bus or um and we're going to go to the flower auction it's the Royal Holland flower auction it's changed over the years this is where people used to go and literally bid on lots of flowers now people do that at the convenience of their home um but it is still like the world's largest commercial building and so i want to go see how they move flowers in that because a lot of these go to straight to supermarkets all of those things but i think that would be that's going to be really cool um when i was in amsterdam last year we went to kukanoff gardens i had shared pictures of that of the tulips so um not that time of year for that this this time around, but I am going to go there. I think I'm going to go by the float and flower market maybe. So there's a few things I want to see that I may share with you. Um, if I get to those, to the float and flower market, I'll, um, I'll try to video some of that for y'all. Anyway, let me get off of here because I got to go wrap up some stuff. I, I hope you all have a wonderful week. I hope to chat with you again soon. Peace out. <laughs>